Right, good morning and thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I'm back here at 4 Golf. And yes, it is a test that has not what I was expecting to do. And why am I doing it? Well, let me tell you. I've been away quite a bit in recent weeks. For those of you who watch the channel, you'll know that. I'd like to say it's good to be back in Blighty and Bob Lat on and Thermal's on, but I'd be lying. But I am glad to be back testing some golf clubs. But not golf clubs, golf shafts, because a bit of a surprise while I was away. I played um, a golf course called Royal Bled in Slovenia. Now then, if you haven't seen that course vlog, I suggest you watch it because I've put it down as one of the best courses I've possibly ever played, if not the best. But anyway, have a look. Now, one of the reasons that I might have liked it is because I played it very well. But the odd thing is, I played it very well using a set of irons with graphite shafts in them. That's right, regular graphite shafts AP1 head, never used in my life before, and hit my irons surprisingly well. And it's got me to ask this question, why do we not use graphite shafts in our irons? Right, let's talk about the setup I'm gonna to use today for this test. I'm gonna use a tensai shaft, tensai red, and I'm gonna stick with the regular shaft, so not even a stiff shaft. Now, uh, again, for the record, my shaft of choice is Dynamic Gold S300s, and that's what's in my current irons, and that's what I'll put in this AP3 head uh, for our comparison today. I've chose AP3 as opposed to AP1s because this is, again, for me, um, for the test I did last year, great combination of forgiveness and also workability, playability, an iron head that I really like. So I'm not going with AP1, I'm going with AP3, but with a tent size shaft and my dynamic gold shaft. And it's really interesting to see what these differences are gonna be. First of all, the shots that you see me hitting now, these are some warm up balls, which again, um, very cold morning. I think that first thing I notice when I'm hitting these golf balls is, with a graphite shaft, and again, this could be all in the mind, I feel as I don't need to swing the club as hard. I feel with the stiff shaft that I've got currently in uh, in the Dynamic Gold S300s, I certainly need to be swinging, I certainly need to be warmed up, I certainly need to be hitting the ball relatively hard, I'm certainly working to get that head through. And I think with the graphite shaft, it's a complete opposite. So again, it could be all in the head, but my rhythm with the graphite shaft seems to be straight from the get-go. Tempo seems to be slowed down just that little bit. There is a change in the feeling of the weight in the whole club. Obviously, you'd expect the graphite shaft to be that much lighter, but there's a... a, a, a automatic straight away there is a change in the theme of the weight and the balance of the club and for me and again i keep saying the same thing is it in the head just a little bit of improved tempo certainly straight out the blocks here this morning okay so before i hit golf balls what am i expecting or what would have i thought about using a graphite shaft in an iron head well the first thing is is if i walked in for a fitting of a new set of irons and anyone suggested using a graphite shaft that have been like no way this ain't going to happen i use a stiff dynamic gold s300 and will work around something along those lines so that's the first thing uh, i would have even tried these things the reason i want to try them is because i would have always assumed them to be aimed at perhaps a slower swing speed in irons um and i'm not the fastest of swing speeds either but i would expect them to be directed at somewhere with a slower swing speed than mine um, I'd have had concerns about launch angle. I'd have thought this would have been, again, a club that was certainly uh, an, a shaft rather that would assist people in launching the ball higher. Again, not something that I currently experience problems with. Um, and perhaps variables as well in terms of um, front to back dispersion numbers, whether or not that would have some effect on those numbers. And finally, especially with a graphite regular shaft, I'd have been concerned about my ability to turn the ball over from right to left, which is uh, a bad shot of mine. So they're all the reasons why I would never even consider this shaft until now and until what happened at Royal Bled Golf Course last week. So I'm going to hit some golf balls um, and then we'll measure the data and I'll switch over to the, um, to the Dynamic Gold S300 shaft. We're not reviewing the AP3s, but I love the sound out of the AP3s. It's maybe slightly a bit clicky for some people, but certainly fires the ball out there. First ball is a great ball. Um, that's right down exactly the same line. 
and a really good start and one thing like i said this burp, this ball at this stage anyway it isn't sort of firing and ballooning out there which is one of the concerns that i would have had and like i said i didn't see that out on the golf course last week either Well, it's a decent enough start with this uh, graphite shaft. I'm going to hit a, uh, I don't know, let's see if we get 10, 12 balls, get some data. And then, like I said, I'm going to switch over to this um, Dynamic Gold S300. And we'll try and see where the differences lie between the two. Right, so the balls you see me hitting now are with the Dynamic Gold S300 shaft in. Uh, huge difference in weight and i will try and find out the weight differences in the shaft and throw them up on screen for you now because i don't know that but certainly massive differences in terms of feel um such a heavy club and like i said i feel straight away like i've got to work that a little bit harder um make sure i'm putting a, uh, a fuller more positive swing on i suppose in some ways that may sound a bit strange but i've certainly got to attack that ball just that little bit more with this shaft um immediate few shots from interesting um, ball fight doesn't seem to be different if i'm being perfectly honest with you uh, it'd be interesting seeing the numbers <laughs> i mean i don't really understand the logic in this but i tend to be turning the ball over more uh, with this shafting which is uh, not what i was expecting that is a bit of a strange one that's probably just a swing i've put on it that's a super shot yeah there's nothing wrong with that i mean that's bang on the button and uh, right down where i'd want it to be um, like I said, for me, the club that I've, uh, the head that's in this is uh, one of my favourite sets of irons from, uh, from 2018. That's a decent ball as well. I think I'll go on, carry on hitting some more golf balls with this shaft in. And it's going to be really interesting for me is to have a look at this data. Right, glove off and uh, let's get straight into these numbers. Collected quite a bit of data there on the two, um, on the two different shaft types. Um, for me, visually, not massively different in terms of ball flight. I know that uh, I hit the graphite shaft more consistent in terms of where it landed, um, down the target line at least. And uh, again, I think we've got a lot to, I don't know, it's hard to measure that. Is it down purely, I swung that shaft better? But maybe that's the whole point but anyway uh, we shall get into the numbers and have a closer look so first of all the numbers i'm going to throw up for you now with the graphite shaft in uh, so let's go to that first column which is ball speed um 111 on average fairly consistent to be fair and again not the variables that i would have quite expected um quite consistent 20.9 in terms of launch again very consistent across that number uh, all told um 4-3 spin very low with a 2-9 in there as well and i'll explain some of this to you in terms of my opinion on why that spin number is particularly low peaking out at 31 160 carry we'll talk about the spin number a bit later straight into the numbers for the um dynamic gold shaft so didn't hit as many balls but to be fair i kind of know my numbers so when i seen what was happening it was kind of where i was expecting it to be 111 ball speed again with that 105 in there which dropped it off significantly it perhaps would have been a slightly higher ball speed the interesting 121.7 launch we'll talk about that in a minute or two once again very low spin 43 i will confirm why i think that is so low 32 peak height 160 identical carry so numbers first of all let's talk about the differences between the two and the biggest surprise between the two was the launch angle I cannot believe the ball launched higher with the S300 shaft in dynamic gold. That is the biggest shocker I've got. Now, don't forget, there's quite a wide spread of golf balls it's here, and it is considerably higher launching with the S300. That baffles me altogether. Ball speeds, very, very similar. Spin number, I mentioned earlier, I was using TP5X golf balls. My spin drops off the charts with these things. I clearly shows again why ball fitting is mega important to make sure that you get the best performance out of a golf ball as well and a tp5x is not for me uh, but anyway like i said i'm not overly concerned because the numbers were similar for both we know my sort of best spin numbers only be around the sort of five and a half anyway so i'm going to ignore that a little bit peak height at 32 as opposed to 31 so like i said ball flight was slightly low with the graphite shaft which yeah, absolutely bewildering. Just gonna go back to these numbers first of all of the graphite shaft though. 
It's the consistency that surprised me. It's the consistency across every piece of data, really, every criteria. So launch angle, ball speed, carry, peak height. It's virtually identical for every shot. It is very, very closely packed. And it surprised me a lot. But this is the bigger surprise. I did say I thought I hit the ball in a more compact area in terms of dispersion left and right, front and back. Here's the chart that I'm gonna throw up for you now. I mean, if you watch these videos quite a lot, it's arguably the best grouping on such a wide range, wide number of shots that I've ever achieved on a video. Quite surprising. Um, I'll throw in the numbers there on the S300 shaft, which has blown my mind slightly. You'll see, like I said to you, I had more, um, I was turning the ball over right to left more with this shaft than I was with the, I'm gonna put that down for me, than I was with the uh, graphite shaft. So I am blown away. And I don't really have a great deal of explanation for you, I'm afraid. Work that one out for yourself. I knew from last week at Royal Bled that I was surprised. Couldn't put any logic behind it. How it basically panned out was we had a set of options and there wasn't many and I ended up with a set of regular uh, graphite shafted irons and like I said, struck the ball very, very well. Um, I had no problems with them whatsoever that I experienced. And for me, this test was done with a seven iron for me, it actually gets more of a help with these irons when you're getting into the kind of like the, the five and four irons have the graphite shafting again, for me personally. I know that manufacturers, shaft manufacturers are doing more and more work with graphite shafts and I think it's gonna be something that becomes more readily available for irons. I think it's gonna be a move that you'll see over the next year or two. It's interesting for me that we use them in hybrids, we use them in driving irons, graphite shafts that is on referring to, we use them in our three wheels, but for some reason there's a stigma attached to using a graphite shaft in an iron, and I think maybe that's about to change. But for me all I would say is, and this is, goes to club fitters as well, do not ignore a graphite shaft option in an iron. That's me, I don't think I need to say any more, I think it's about you. Have you tried them? That's what I want to know. Here's a question for you in the comments box. Have you tried a graphite shaft in irons? I'm gonna say a large majority of you will say no, and I wanna know why have you not tried it? That's the question I need answering from you, and I wanna know will you try using a graphite shaft next time you go and get fitted for a set of irons? Anyway, that's me done, I've waffled on quite a bit. Thanks for watching, I'll do some more testing and uh, warm up just that little bit more. Now I'm back in Blighty. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Like, subscribe, do all them things. Bye.